for the past few years i've been using this microphone here right over here to record all my videos i got this microphone around 200 to 250 cities somewhere 2020 from tonaton someone was using this to record his music and then eventually he sold it to me since then i've been using it to record all the tutorials that you see mostly see on this channel and it has been working great there is nothing wrong with this microphone and i'm going to keep using it but then i felt like it was time to upgrade to something more professional and try something different as i can't keep using this over and over again so in this video i'm going to try out the poplar road pod mic i'm going to test it out and, and try to compare it with this 200 cities or 250 cities microphone and see how it sounds and if you can switch to that and start using that for tutorials <laughs> Hi everybody Innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we make videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing so without any further ado let me quickly switch to the Rode pod mic all right so let's quickly start with the unboxing of the Rode pod mic the Rode dynamic pod mic so when you get the package inside the box you're going to have the microphone itself and a manual which when i got it i was pretty much disappointed because when i look at the box i thought i was going to get everything that was on the box including the mic stand but i was wrong when i got it it was only the microphone and then a manual after watching a couple of tutorials i realized that that is how it normally comes with so i was okay i was a bit okay so now i need to get another mic stand for this but i'll be making use of this for the meantime now let's talk about the build of this microphone First off, when I saw it online, I thought it was going to be a very lightweighted microphone. But after receiving it, I realized that this is a very heavy microphone. The body feels very premium. It feels though this is priced around hundred plus dollars on Amazon. And I got this particular one from GoPixel here in Ghana, and it cost over two thousand Ghana CDs. But the feel, the build, the quality—it feels more like a microphone that is way priced above that amount. Now, the overall look of this microphone looks very premium and classy. There are no buttons on it, except for the output at the back, no screens, nothing to touch on it. It looks very minimal, very simple, and it looks premium. About the weight, it's very heavy. When I saw it online first, I thought it was very lightweighted. But when I got it and I felt it, it's really, really heavy. I think for a mic to be around this price point and with this features or this build quality, this is a great microphone now about the sound i'm going to record directly into my laptop with the help of this sound card i'm not going to use an audio interface this is going to be just direct record into the microphone but first off i'm going to play a part of it that is unedited and as a disclaimer i'm not doing this as a professional audio editor or a professional audio i have very little knowledge when it comes to audio so i'm just basically going to tweak it around as per my knowledge on audio so this is how the mic generally sounds when you record it directly into your microphone with the help of this little sound card that i use so after i'm done recording i basically treat my sound in audacity and i boost it a little bit depending on the video editor that i use which i mostly use wondershare filmora so in filmora i'm provided with a lot of settings that i'm able to boost the audio and i'm also able to open up a couple of things in the video editor so this is how it generally sounds after a couple of treats to the sound what do you think now one thing i was really facing a lot of challenge with this microphone was that though it was all also metally built i think whenever i am recording and i touch it or the table that the mic is on kind of you touch it it appears in the sound but with this i think the problem is really solved so after a couple of videos that i watched online i realized that a lot of people are using audio interfaces for it if i get my hands on an audio interface i'm going to plug this into it as well and test it but for now i'm going to be using this sound card that i've been using to record even on this microphone to test it out in the coming days when i started using this microphone i had to use it a couple of times before i got the correct setting so i believe this being the first time i'm not really going to get the best of settings for you but with time i'm going to catch up with it and i'm going to get the exact settings that i can use on this particular microphone so why don't you stay around as i'll be bringing to you some tutorials from this new microphone but all in all i think this microphone sounds great when i was listening i can't really hear much of a difference between this and this particular one but you can be the judge let me know your thoughts 
what do you think do you think that it sounds almost the same do you think this sounds better or this particular one here sounds better and also i'm going to do a full comparison where i place these two microphones side by side and then we can test them out and then you can pick your favorite and yes that's pretty much going to be about this video like i said i'm going to be testing this in the coming days so expect more from this microphone and this new camera so yeah that'll be basically it for this video thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video let me know your thoughts about this microphone how does it sound do you really like it do you think it could do better do you have ideas on how i can make this sound better and get the best out of this microphone i'm open to suggestions corrections and ideas as i want to get the best out of this microphone but all in all thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye <laughs>